Hi, I'm John Serba, film critic for the Grand Rapids Press and MLive.com. This is this week's incredibly lo-fi movie video, and here I am in extreme close-up. Anyway, uh, I figured I'd try to do a 3D effect considering the movie that I just got out of seeing was Piranha 3D. It's exactly what you would expect. A lot of gratuitous nudity, gore, uh, stupid. It's stupid with two O's, I'll just put it that way. Um, Elizabeth Shue is in it. She was once nominated for an Oscar. Bing Rames is in it. He won a Golden Globe. Uh, you know, it's, it's everything you would expect it to be, and probably less, actually. Uh, another new movie is The Switch. It stars Jennifer Aniston and Jason Bateman. She wants to have a baby. They're close friends. He is harboring feelings for her. He gets a little tipsy one night and ends up replacing her uh, sperm donor's sample with his own DNA. Yeah. Um, the movie isn't too wacky, despite that kind of premise, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it, it's kind of a take-it-or-leave-it movie. There's not a whole lot going for it here. Um, uh, it's predictable. There's a little bit of decent chemistry between Jason Bateman and and uh, uh, and Jennifer Aniston and some of the supporting cast like uh, um, Gen uh, Jeff Goldblum. He walks in, kind of steals a few scenes. Entirely predictable. You would expect more from Jason Bateman, who was so wonderful in Arrested Development in his movie career. <sighs> I don't know. Since Juno, it's been... Eh, eh. Anyway, uh, another one, Nanny McPhee Returns, which I didn't see, but Andrew Jeffcheck reviewed it. Give it three stars. Said it's entirely tolerable kitty fare, uh, and parents won't be too uh, put off by what they see. You know, I mean, they. I guess they won't be falling asleep during it, which is good enough, I guess. Um, and then there's also the lottery ticket opening, which is uh, a kind of neighborhood comedy um, starring Bow Wow, the rapper turned actor who plays a guy who buys a lottery ticket, wins a whole bunch of money, becomes the most popular guy in the neighborhood. Um, James Sanford reviewed this for us here at MLive.com and he said that Ice Cube, who has a sporting role in it, is the only bright spot in a movie full of dim bulbs and I am quoting his review verbatim. Go check his out here at MLive.com slash movies. And finally, Vampires Suck. It's inspired by Twilight. It's a spoof movie. It's exactly what you expect. It's terrible. Please join me next week. I'll be talking about some more new movies, including The Girl Who Played With Fire, which is a sequel to The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. A lot of people are talking about this and looking forward to it. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend.